Joan Davis with Jim Backus in I Married Joan. Brad. Brad, wake up. Your words, uh, what, what's, what, 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 what's the matter? Uh, uh, Brad, Beverly isn't home yet. Oh, uh, Brad, Brad, look, 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 it's one o'clock. Well, so what? It's one o'clock at this time every morning. <laughs> well, Brad, you don't understand. My sister Beverly isn't home yet. Well, honey, this isn't the first time she's been out this late. She'll be home soon. But, Brad, you don't realize she's my sister. She's your sister-in-law. Why, she's just like one of the family. <laughs> Brad, how can anybody be that calloused? How can you sleep? Well, frankly, not very well with you making all this noise. <laughs> Joni, will you stop this nonsensical worrying about Beverly? B believe me, she she'll come home. She, she went to a college sorority dance. There can't be anything wrong in that. <laughs> I guess you're right. Well, Dad. sure I am. After all, what could happen at a college sorority dance? You and I used to attend lots of them when we were... <laughs> <laughs> Joni, don't be silly. Look, she's out with Tom Peters. You know Tom. He's a nice, intelligent, shy young boy of 19. Well, you were also a shy, nice, intelligent boy at 19. Yes, but when I was 19 and in college... <laughs> Dance supposed to be over at one. Why isn't she home? Well, you know, kids, honey, they're probably out riding around in that hot rod jalopy of Tom's. She's driving around at this hour. <laughs> well, uh, come to think of it, though, she's probably not driving at all. They're probably parked somewhere. <laughs> Oh, Brad, what am I gonna do? Oh, now, Brad? now, come on, come on, take it easy. Come There's on, no Brad. need for this hysteria. Come on now, come on, chin up. No, no, chin up. Oh, that's better. That's my brave girl. You're absolutely right, Brad. I'm a mature, grown-up woman, and I know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to call my mother and ask her what to do. That's Julie, you can't call your mother now. Look, she lives in St. Paul. It's 4 a.m. there. 4 a.m.? Yes. Why, if Mother finds out that Beverly was out till 4 a.m., I can't... Well, she'll do the... Oh, she'll... Oh, I got such a headache. I better get something for it. Now, look, honey. You're going to talk to Beverly the first thing in the morning. Now, Tom Peters is a nice young boy, but she's been seeing entirely too much of him. Yes, I will. Yeah, he, he was here at the house every single night last week. Except Thursday. Thursday, Brad went to his house. Oh, I better call the cops or the hospitals or something, Brad. There really. you go, Joan. Uh -huh. Don't you think you'd uh, better put some ice in there? Brad, isn't it bad enough I got a headache? You want me to catch cold, too? <laughs> now, honey, honey, look, look. Don't knock yourself out. Relax. Take it easy. Okay, you pace for a while, no. Brad. Thank heavens. She's home. Yep, that, that's her. Now will you go to sleep? Yes, lover. Don't forget, you're going to have a talk with Beverly the first thing in the morning. Don't you worry. I'll certainly talk to her. <laughs> will I ever. <laughs> Beverly, don't you dare let this happen again. You've stayed out till 1 o'clock for the last time. Besides, you've been seeing entirely too much of Tom Peters lately. And another thing, Joey, Beverly. Joni, will you please? <laughs> Please, let me get some sleep. Go ahead, Brad. I'm talking to Beverly. And another thing, Beverly, don't you realize that I'm responsible for it? You cannot keep such late hours as this. Here she comes. Uh, Joni, are you sure you don't want me to have this talk with her? Oh, no, Brad. I'll do all the talking myself. And believe me, I'm going to tell that kid a few things. Why, if Good I... morning. Good morning. Good morning, Beverly. Beverly? Beverly? Yes? Beverly, the time has come. Uh, that is, I don't quite know how to say this. But... Joni, what is it? Okay, I'll come right out and say it, frankly and bluntly. Brad wants to talk to you. <laughs> uh, Beverly, you know how I feel about things. I believe in calling a spade a spade, and I don't believe in beating around the bush. Do I, Joey? 
That's right. I've known Brad a long time, and I've never known him to beat around a single bush. <laughs> and I want you to know that I absolutely agree with your sister. So do I. So do you what? Agree with your sister. <laughs> I mean, agree with Brad. About what? Well, we were just coming to that. Where are we, Brad? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, you heard what your sister just said, didn't you? And you just heard what Brad just said? That's right. I heard what you both said, and I agree with you completely. I promise I'll take care of it. I'll see you both later. Oh, here they are. Oh, you're right. Oh, I'm fine. Say, give us a couple cokes, will you, man? Did you get the tickets? Yep. There they are. Two tickets to Chicago. Great. First time I ever heard of a couple eloping and going to visit their folks on their honeymoon. Bev, I've told you a dozen times, Ralph and I grew up together. Our folks know each other and they approve of our getting married. The only reason we want to keep it a secret is to avoid being kidded by the campus corn boss. Thanks a lot. You haven't told anybody, have you? Uh-uh. Nobody. Not even your sister and her husband? Are you kidding? Joni's the last person I'd tell. She keeps a secret like a sieve keeps water. <laughs> <laughs> Come on in, Tom. Yeah, Tom's with me. Oh, I'll bring you some cookies. Let's not get stuck here too long. We've got a lot to do before tonight. I know. Janet and Ralph are both packing. And remember, nobody's supposed to know. Not even your sister. Oh, don't worry about Joan. What she doesn't know won't hurt her. Okay, just make sure. Oh, gosh, Tom. Isn't an elopement the most exciting thing in the world? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Here are some cookies. I baked them myself. Oh, thank you. Beverly? Tom? Got anything you want to talk to me about? No, Joni. Nothing? Nothing at all you want to tell me? <laughs> yeah, come to think of it, there is. What? These are the best cookies you ever baked. They are great cookies, Mrs. Stevens. Thanks. Well, I'll uh, pick you up later, Bev. Nothing you want to tell me, huh? <laughs> Beverly, uh, what do you think of marriage? Marriage, huh? Well, it's a great thing. Must be very popular. There's one in every family. <laughs> no, I, I mean marriage among younger people. Well, I guess there's a lot of that, too. Kids are getting married these days who never got married before. <laughs> <laughs> Beverly, look, you live with me in my house, right? Right. And you are my younger sister. Sure. I'm only 19 and you're already. Never mind me. It's you we're talking about. Now, what I wanted to say is, Brad wants to have a talk with you again. Well, I just couldn't bring myself to ask her point blank, but I know that she and Tom are planning to elope. I don't believe it. Well, I do. I heard her with my own ears, and even though it's supposed to be a secret. Joni, calm down. Oh, it's all my fault, Brad. Letting her keep such awful hours running around and seeing so much of that Tom Peters. And now the dopey kid's going to get married. I don't think so. She's not that dopey. <laughs> no, honey, well, what I mean is that she's too level-headed and intelligent girl to do a thing like that. Well, you really think so? Well, sure. But I heard them. Well, it might have been your imagination, or you might have heard incorrectly. Now, I have done a lot of work on domestic relations, and everything that I know about Beverly and Tom points to one conclusion. Those kids would never elope. Hi. Uh, which way's the marriage license bureau? Uh, down at the end of this corridor and two doors to the left. <laughs> Thanks. So you see, Joan, you have absolutely nothing to... <laughs> I never should have listened to you, Brad. I should have talked to Beverly and Tom at the courthouse. I should have broken up their wedding plans right then and there. Joni, I told you. Oh, no, you. you've got to be firm about these things, Brad. I should have stopped the elopement. That's what I should have done. Should have locked her in her room. Now, Joni, that's... Yeah, when Beverly gets home, I'm going to lock her in her room. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I'll lock all the windows and I'll lock the doors. Then Tom can't marry her unless he stands in the hall with the preacher and he puts the ring on her finger through the keyhole. 
That's what I'm gonna do. I'll lock her in her room. And just to be on the safe side, I think I'll stuff up the keyhole, too. Well, for the tenth time, threatening them and using force won't do any good. Who said anything about using force? I'm just gonna tie her to her bed and lock her in her room, that's all. Don't you see, dear, anything that you do would only make them more determined to elope. You, you've got to use psychology. Psychology? Yes, you tried to discourage her from getting married so young, didn't you? Well, yes. And then failed, didn't it? Yeah. Now okay. try psychology. Well. Uh, promise me? Okay, I promise. When Beverly gets home, we'll use psychology. Uh, good. And then I'll lock her in her room. <laughs> now look, Joni, Joni, believe me, all we have to do is show that we approve of their marriage and, and it'll solve the problem. If, if we insist they get married, <laughs> forget all about it. You mean if we insist that they get married, that will stop the wedding? Exactly. Why, Brad, that's like giving a crook the key to the First National Bank to stop him from stealing. No, no, <laughs> Joni, don't you see? These kids are just rebelling against authority. Anything we tell them to do, they'll do the opposite. Please try it my way. Okay, Brad. I'll try it your way. I'll tell Beverly we want her to get married. <laughs> yes, but now, dear, you have to be careful. You have to plant the idea very gently. You have to be subtle. Okay, Brad. I'll be subtle. Hi, Joni. We want you to get married. <laughs> no, what your sister means is, Beverly, we realize that you're not a baby anymore, and if you want to stay up a little late, that's perfectly all right with us. Isn't it, dear? Uh-huh. And if you want to go steady with some nice young man, we'll be delighted. Won't we, dear? Well, of course. And if you want to elope, we'll hold the ladder for you. Won't we, Brad? Yes, <laughs> sir. John. Well, gee, thanks for this vote of confidence. You certainly are talking about marriage differently today, Joni. Yesterday, you were using threats. Yes, but today I'm using psych... We, uh, we feel that you're old enough to go out on your own. We think that it's time that you got married. But I don't want to get married. I'm too young. Well, that's, uh, that's up to you. <laughs> Just wanted to remind you that we're having donuts for dessert tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's uh, good that we had this nice little talk, Beverly. Yeah, well, I got to get dressed. I've got to meet Tom. And no matter what you say, I'm not getting married. <laughs> More donuts? No, honey, that's the cup of coffee we used to dunk the donut in. <laughs> Brad, I, I'm so happy and excited about Tom and Beverly not getting married, I, I can't even prepare dinner. I, I mean it. What do you think I was trying to open with this can opener? What? This other can opener. <laughs> Honey, what do you say we celebrate and go out for dinner? Okay, honey. I told you that psychology would work. Oh, and you were right, darling. You're just the biggest genius in the whole world. Here's a kiss for being so wonderful. And here's a kiss for being so smart. And here's a kiss for being so clever. Uh, what was that extra one for? You might have a talent I don't even know about. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, I'll, uh, you telephone, I'll, I'll get your coat there. Okay, dear, oh, I'm so happy, because you know I am responsible for Bevan if anything happened. I, I think I'll call Chasen's, dear. I love their salad there. Do you need this telephone number on the pad, dear? On the pad? I didn't write anything on the pad. Well, there's a... Oh, it's Beverly's handwriting. It's Dunbar 3575. Dunbar 3575? Well, that's Lionel Cushing's number. Judge Cushing? Yes. Why would Beverly telephone a judge when she's out with Tom? Unless... Oh, yes, she, she wouldn't. No, of course not. Not after what she said, you. Of course not. Of course not. Of course not. <laughs> Brad, she did it! She was dead! I can't You're jumping to conclusions just because... Give me my coat. I'll take it over to the judge's right away. Right, How dear. could she possibly do it? All right, honey, just take time. I'll go and get the car out of the garage. All right. Well, hold on. Keep the motor running, Brad. Mary, I never heard of You can't trust me. Here now. Now, uh, uh, keep it. Should have locked her in a room. That's what I should have done. Listen to Brad and that phony psychology stuff. The baby sister gets married. Just like, give him the, 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 the whole story. You know, what do you do with him? 
Changed my mind. Just canceled the reservation. Thank you. Oh, that's all right, madam. And by the way, I think you should have locked her in that room, too. Johnny, <laughs> the car is. What's, what, what's going on here? I mean, there's no use explaining it. You'd never believe it. Anyway. <laughs> 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 there we are. Just leave for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> but, Elsie, why don't we just call the judge? Call him up on the phone. All right, Joni, but calm down. I'll call well, Judge You know, Cushing. this doesn't happen every day. I know, Brad. dear, but you're so calm. Well, I, I, I could be responsible. Uh, married. Well. Hello? Oh, hello, is this uh, Judge Cushing? Yes, this is Judge Cushing. Uh, Lionel, this is Brad. Uh, Brad Stevens. Oh, hello, Brad. How are you? Oh, I I'm fine. Uh, say, Lionel, you know uh, Joan's sister, Beverly. Well, were Beverly and her boyfriend, Tom, in to see you today? Yes, they were, Brad. Beverly and Tom were up here with another couple, Janet and Ralph. Oh, I see. Well, uh, did, did they get married? Yes, they did, Brad. Are, are you sure? Oh, Brad, I, I performed the ceremony myself not more than ten minutes ago. Oh, fine. Yeah, thank you, Lionel. <laughs> oh, Joan. Joan, they did it. They got married. Well, I was wrong, dear. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. Your baby sister married. Joni, Joni, honey, I said I was sorry. There's no wonderful Brad. Huh? My baby sister married. I used to push her in her baby carriage, and now she's married. I used to tease her with her dolls, and now she's married. Well, Joni, you just said that... My the... baby sister. And someday she'll have a baby of her own. She'll be a mother. And I'll be a mother-in-law. Oh, God, isn't it wonderful? <laughs> Honey, I I'm going to call all my friends and tell them the good news. Here, hang up my throat. All right, dear. Why do they hear this? Oh, oh, this is the sick. Oh, is that my Honey, God. wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait dear. I buy you nice things. I'm in a hurry. I've got to tell them. Oh, honey, I got a better idea. Uh, let's go over in person. I want to see the expression on their faces. All right, dear. All right, honey, it's your sister. Okay, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Love her. Why do you put it in my sleeve? I didn't Mabel. Hi. I came over as soon as I could to congratulate the happy couple. Well, they're not even here yet, dear. Oh. Well, Charlie will be over later. Uh, here, let me uh, take your stove. Thanks, I'll hang Brad. It up for I you. just had time to get them a gift. Oh, that was awfully sweet of you, Mabel. You know, I just called a few of Beverly's best friends and a few of my best friends to tell them the good news. My, this marriage certainly was sudden. Sudden? Oh, don't be silly. I suspected it for a long time. You did? Oh, of course. You know what they say, blood is thicker than water. And when it comes to my sister Beverly, nobody is thicker than me. <laughs> Imagine my baby sister Mary. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> oh, Janet, hello, Hi, dear. Janet. How are you? Oh, isn't this exciting? Well, I should say it is. I'd like you to meet my boyfriend, Roy. Hi, oh, hello, Roy. Doing? And this is my husband, Brad. Brad, how do you do? Hello, Roy. Oh, you know I'll, Janet, I'll, of course. Yes, I'll Thank take this. Oh, well, fine. Uh, Mabel, uh, this is Janet. How do you do, and Janet? And her boyfriend, Roy. How do you do, Mabel? Oh, I'm you. so excited I could burst. Are they leaving on a honeymoon soon? Well, I don't know. I suppose so. Gee, what a sneaky way to go out of that Spanish test tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, you could get out of that Spanish exam, too, Roy. <laughs> no, thanks. I studied already. Oh, that's good. Excuse me. Isn't it exciting? Hello, Sally. Oh, congratulations. Oh, Sally. Oh, Sally. Oh, nice to see you. Yeah. Where's the happy couple? Oh, well, they're not even here yet. <laughs> you let Fred take your yes, back, Sally. Yes, I'll take it. You let me take it. over here, dear. Uh, Sally and Paul, I want you to meet Mabel. Oh, and uh, Mabel. Uh, this is Janet and her boyfriend, Ryan. Oh, excuse me. 
Mr. Stevens? Oh, Tom. Yes, ma'am. Uh, you better start calling us Joan and Brad now. <laughs> That's right, Tom, my boy. <laughs> oh, okay, Mrs. Joan. <laughs> oh, Tom, could you stay a while and help me with my Spanish? Sure, Bev, I'd be glad to. Well, come on over here. I'll show it to you. Uh, this is the part I'm having trouble with. Uh, te amo ahora. Te amare siempre. I love you now. I'll always love you. He loves her in two languages. Uh, te odio ahora. Te odiare siempre. I hate you now. I'll always hate you. Oh, Brad, their first quarrel. It's no use, Tom. I'll never learn all these big words. Well, at least make sure that you know the little ones. Guess they must have made up. He just said little ones. <laughs> well, good luck on your exam, Beth. I better be running along now. Now, wait a minute, Tom. Running along? <laughs> Why, you don't have to run along now, Tom. You come right over here, boy. Sit right down there. And you sit right next to Tom close. <laughs> After all, this is a pretty special night. What's so special about it? Oh, honey, you don't have to pretend any longer. Brad and I know where you and Tom were this afternoon. We spoke to Judge Cushing. <laughs> oh, well, I'm sorry I had to keep it a secret from you, Joni, but you know how those things are. Well, I was a little hurt at first, but tell me, how was the wedding? To tell you the truth, I don't remember too much about it. I was worrying about my Spanish exam tomorrow. <laughs> you were worried about your Spanish exam during the wedding? Well, after all, that Spanish test is pretty important, you know. Well, Bev, you seem pretty calm for tonight. Well, maybe I look calm, but I'm not calm at all. Oh, well, it's perfectly natural, huh, Brad? <laughs> I can flunk that test tomorrow. <laughs> Beverly, didn't Mom ever sit down and have a long talk with you? I'll bet Tom wasn't worried over any test during the ceremony. <laughs> no, sir. I was worrying about those new gaskets on my carburetor. <laughs> You know, I think these two kids deserve each other. Well, uh, where's the happy couple going on the honeymoon? Uh, Chicago. Uh, who do you know in Chicago? I don't know anyone in Chicago. Oh, well, who do you know in Chicago? No one. I've never been in Chicago. And then why are you going to Chicago? I didn't say we were going to Chicago. I said the happy couple are going to Chicago. Oh, you're not going to Chicago with the happy couple. I said, go on, Brad, tell them that we know. Look, kids, we know the whole thing. You went over to Judge Cushing this afternoon, didn't you? Yeah, we couldn't ask you to perform the ceremony because Ralph and Janet wanted to keep it a secret. I wonder what's taking so long. What is she going to ring that bell? And after we put them on the train for Chicago, we came back here. Wait a minute. It was Ralph and Janet that Judge Cushing married? Well, of course. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Joni, don't tell me that you thought that Tom and I were married. Oh, don't be sorry. I thought that Simmons, I knew it was Janet and Ralph. All that. Why, you and that the most we did. After all, Beverly, I... What are you doing? All I wanted was a piece of candy. Oh, for a moment, I thought you were going to ring the bell like this. <laughs> announcement to make. Ladies and gentlemen, I made a boo-boo. <laughs> 
What a mind, love is fine, what a wife. Seen in tonight's cast were Beverly Wills, Tom Peters, Geraldine Carr, Philip Tong, Bill Bryant, Jan Shepard, Marilyn Burtis, Eileen Stanley, Richard Sargent, John Lupton, Norman DuPont, and Lorraine Crawford. I Mary Joan, starring Joan Davis. I'm Mary Joan.